Well, here we are with the Fox body. And I made, when I got this car years ago, I made a six hour round trip to get it because it didn't have rusted floors, frame rails, or door posts. Well, it still doesn't have rusted floors and it still doesn't have rusted frame rails. The door posts, on the other hand, are a different story. It had a little bit of surface rust right where the two pieces of metal came down. Uh, that's gotten a little bit worse than what it was. The driver's side is leaking. The car is filling up with water. So it's an issue that I have to address. It may not seem like it, but I have a lot of money invested into this car. With everything that I've done to it, when you start adding the numbers up, it, it gets pretty high. It's not even a show car. So, they are money pits. But, they're fun cars. So, the Chevy's still going to take priority. Uh, kind of just working on the Mustang when I don't really have anything to do or I'm waiting on parts for the Chevy. So that's why I decided to start messing with it. And I didn't want it to keep filling up with water. At least if I strip everything out of the inside, then I won't have to worry about it. But that's the driver's side. And then the passenger side is a little bit worse. It depends on how you look at it. Some more of the metal is missing. Uh, when I got the car, it didn't look like this. Same thing on the driver's side. It just had a little bit of rust stain starting to start where the two pieces of metal were. None of that was rusted. And I think that's where most of my water is coming in at. But looking at it from the door jam side, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks bad, but it doesn't look too bad. Kinda. A little bit. So I decided to take the fender off. Let's see what not looks too bad looks like. And that's what it looks like. It's a little bit more rusted on this side that you can see. Uh, yes. And then it also extends into this frame rail and you put your fingers through the bottom of it the bottom of it's a little bit rusted away so I found a junkyard that had a convertible in there with two good posts they cut it here so the pieces in there that I will just have to freehand make they're easy it's just flat sections and little bends and then I could duplicate that. That's not too hard. But this section that they cut is good. So I can just drill out the spot welds and swap it over. But looking at it positively. The inside of the cow is not rusted. Where you have your vent on the top of the cow. Uh, it's behind that sheet of metal. At least in there it's not rusted. It's just kind of this little area is what's rusted. But this is going to be a series. Uh, like I said, since this is my car, there's no giving up on it. It's going to be a start to finish system on it. So I'll kind of do videos on it as I work on it between working on the Chevy. It kind of show you how to do it. I did the purple car. It wasn't that hard to do. Uh, this one I'm going to do a lot better than the purple car. Uh, I shouldn't have to make too much aside from that section. It would be a matter of just kind of fitting everything into there. But these are the door post sections. I got the whole driver's side. Uh, I'll find out once I get the fender off how much I need on it. But as far as the passenger side, it's got some surface rust. This is that. Uh, your adjusting plate for the door that slides back and forth uh, underneath it 
is not rusted. So a lot of this is just surface rust. Uh, I'll probably end up just, once I have that outer skin off of there, I'll wire wheel it or I may take it and have it sandblasted, paint it, and then I'll undercoat the inside of it so this doesn't become an issue again. But I'll play that by year on that once I start getting it torn apart and cleaned up. On the purple car, when I did it, I ended up having to make that top section. So when you're looking for your donor car, make sure you pull that kick panel off and move the computer, whatever you got to do to be able to look up and make sure that this section is good. If it's rusted away, no point in buying it. Uh, they usually go from one to two hundred dollars for a pair of door posts. Uh, I got these at twenty-five each, and then it was one hundred twenty-five in labor from the salvage yard. So, kind of Florida price-wise, that give me an idea. Uh, but like I said, make sure this is the biggest issue of where they rust. So when you're looking for them, make sure you look in there with a flashlight. Uh, kind of look at your car too, whether it extends all the way up the post so you know how to have them cut it. And then whether your actual cow panel is rusted or not, whether you need to have them cut more or not. Most of them will, you have that vent right there on your cow. A lot of them will rust out on the front of the vent. So you have to see whether you need that or not. If your cowl is rusted, you'll have to remove the top of your cowl in order to fix it. I did some of it on the purple car. It's easier to remove the whole cowl, which requires taking a windshield out. But you can see the inside of it's really good. That's what the outside of mine should look like. White usually has the surface rust stains on there. I mean looking at it once I clean it up it's not going to be that bad so I'm not going to have to re rebuild anything it's just a matter of take that outer skin off and then use whatever pieces I need off of the other half of it on my car because it's rusted so bad it rusted this piece out so it's actually you have one piece you have your lower, your upper, and then your outer skin. So this kind of comes in there. So you can usually just cut this out right there and use what you need. Or you can kind of take the whole piece out. Depends on how bad it's rusted. I think on a purple car, I kind of just use most of it. And then the driver's side. There usually is not the driver's side that rusts. I got them both just in case. Either way, I need the top half of it. So, either way, I'll probably end up using the whole thing. It's easier just to do one solid piece versus trying to cut it and add it. Nah. But, it, like I said, it'll be a series. Uh, as I get something more accomplished on it, I'll do another video show how it looks like, what repairs I've done. First things first on it is basically pulling the doors off, pull the interior, the dash out, the AC, all that needs to come out. So when you're welding, you don't melt or burn anything. And then you need to be able to grind off your welds and smooth them out because you're going to be welding on the pinch weld and you need it to be flat so that you can put your weather strip back on there. Depends on whether you weld the inside or the outside. Uh, but I'll show it how I'm doing it. Maybe it helps somebody else on their car. You can usually find nice looking Fox bodies that have a lot of money invested in them. And the door posts are rusted. So you can get them at a cheaper price. Just by telling the owner, hey, it's a lot of work. It's not a lot of work, but tell them, hey, it's a lot of work. Got to replace the door posts. Then you get the price of the car for a lot less. And you go by these videos and you can see... How to do it. That's it.